Okay, this is gonna be a quick segment. What are we up to, like 12 or something, I think. We're getting very near the end. I wanna do this in 13 segments. And um, what this one's about is the, the final steps, of course, getting the boxes uh, glazed and getting them ready to go. And the first essential step of that was to get the, uh, the uh, edges of these things painted with the wax resist, the resist wax, whatever you wanna call that. Some people ask me about this on Facebook, and uh, I believe it's the Aftosa Green. Uh, you can get it a couple places. You can get it Aftosa still, I believe. I've had my bottle of wax for years. I had it on a five-gallon drum that I used to vend uh, that into the smaller bottle so I could make it useful. The only thing I can tell you about wax, wax is wax, but the only thing I can tell you about is before you use this stuff, if it's been sitting around for a while, don't shake it up. It'll get full of bubbles, and it makes it harder to uh, apply consistently. And um, what you see here too, as I'm holding this, is I've lined the boxes with a white, um, a matte white glaze, commercial. I used to make my own. Uh, it's much easier these days with the limited amount of these I do just to buy uh, some. I bought them from a Oregon supplier, Georgie's. Some of you may be familiar in the Northwest with Georgie's, of course. Um, this happens to be a very brushable, nice glaze. I just hope it stays put because um, I'm not that familiar with this glaze. So. I'm guessing it, the way it applied, I'm guessing it'll, it'll uh, fire well. So all the rest of them, of course, are just like this. Here happens to be one of the boxes that I told you that didn't need the bevel. Uh, it looked good enough to me, so I left it alone. I had two or three of them uh, like this. But uh, that's about all there is to say at this point. I'm going to insert probably some other still photos to give you a more flavor of what I'm up to. But uh, this, this was the, uh, the idea in this step of the, of the process. So... There you have it. I wanted to keep this short. I think you got the idea of what I'm up to. And I'll work on the outside of these and maybe give you some still photographs of them and then we'll get them ready for the kiln. So, as I always say, stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching.